Well, here we are in Tucumcari, New Mexico, and um, we just threw this on kind of last minute. We had somebody uh, recommend or suggest that maybe doing a driving tour as we're going along Route 66 would be nice. So um, I've been posting things uh, that we, where we've stopped. We started out um, a couple of weeks ago. I did a Route 66 um, tour of the Blue Whale in Catoosa, Oklahoma. I, is it Nina or Nina? And joined here today. It's good to see you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Nina. And um, good to have you. So, yeah, we're here in Tucumcari, New Mexico. Tucumcari was actually established in 1901. And... Um, Nina. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, and you can put on there where you're from. I know I usually ask people when they come in on the chat window. I'm Sharon P. from Michigan. Karen from UK. Hey, nice to see you guys. So we're already, um, we're about almost 11 minutes until we actually get started on the driving tour here. But we thought we would um, kind of get ahead and we've been through town. Uh, we've been through Tucumcari before a couple times. Derby, England. Cool. Marion. All right. Marion B. Tish W. Nice. See you guys. So um, we thought as we were traveling through here, we're actually traveling east to west. And we're going, um, we started off in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I mentioned that I had a, uh, did a Route 66 tour uh, a while back on the blue whale that's out by Catoosa, Oklahoma, because that's close to where um, my folks live down around Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. And so we were we were spending some time there for the holidays and to welcome a new grandbaby. So um, Lori and I moved to Portugal in mid-September, um, and um, we came back over here to do... Uh, Hi, Mary, and thank you for following, Nina. And so um, we thought when we come over to the U.S., it'd be good for us to do some tours here um, along Route 66 and the other places and the interesting things that we're seeing. So I started putting those on, and so far I've done, um, well, we did um, the Cadillac Ranch this morning. And what did we do yesterday? We did something in yesterday, but... Um, so today, uh, while we're traveling through this part of the country, we're doing Tucumcari. So Tucumcari was an, a small town that was very dependent on the economy of the Route 66 route from Chicago to Illinois. And the route was established in, and I say route or route, it depends on what you're, how you're saying it, I guess, but Route 66 is typically how it's, how it's said. Um, and it was established in 1926 as an interstate highway system by um, Cyrus Avery of Oklahoma, actually, was on the Federal Highway Administration, on the uh, Planning Commission, and they were looking at a way to get across country uh, for commerce and for travel, and they also wanted to develop the highway system as a way for people to um, be able to enjoy tourism of the country. So as they went through, there were a lot of little towns connected. And over the years, many of these little towns became highly dependent on that, that travel um, of the tourism and the um, commerce, the vacationers, and then also just the regular uh, trucks and, and things delivering goods come through the town and fuel up and um, buy the different things in the town. So in about 1957 to 1960, um, I-40 came through this area. They started building an interstate highway system to replace Route 66. And it's made up of about five different interstates, um, but I-40 and I-44 go through kind of this area of the country. I-40 is... Um, predominantly through, um, as we're traveling west to east, we started in Amarillo, Texas this morning. Thanks all for joining. I got like 
see we got Nina okay and we got Chelsea and Ronnie Lynn Darren uh, Rada um, Sue and if you guys um, hi yeah Ronnie Lynn says hi so if you guys would just put in there where you're from it'll help me um, see uh, what time zones you're in different things like that as I schedule some of these things Catherine it's good to see you and um, but what we're doing now is we're just throwing these tours up as we go to share on the Hago channel. Malaga, Spain. Wow. Thanks, Marion. It's nice of you to be here today. And Michigan. So we got people from all over. So I'm in the cent uh, in the mountain time. We actually switched over from central time to mountain time as we were traveling east to west today. Rochester, New York. All right. Nice to have you join us all the way from out there. So I know some of you are in time zones that are different than this one. We're in Right now, it's about seven minutes to 1 p.m. on um, a Tuesday, I guess it is. And so we're, uh, this part of the journey, we thought we would go through Tucumcari, which is a, um, kind of a nostalgic town and an iconic town of Route 66 and share that with everybody. So since we're going through here, we're going to do a driving tour because uh, we want to cover a large part of this city and there are a lot of murals to see and things and we couldn't get it done walking and be able to cover all of it. And we're also traveling. We have to get from point A to point B as we're traveling across the country to see our family, our grandkids and our kids. Uh, we're going to end up going through Utah and Oregon as well. My faith and Camillo and Melinda. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to turn this around just for a minute and show you where we're at. We're actually kind of pulled over here in a little spot here um, that's got a gift shop and some things over here, some old antique items from uh, the 40s and 50s and 60s. So Route 66 was, was most popular during those, that period of time. And then the highway Interstate 40 started coming through in the 50s and the 60s and up until about the mid 70s when it was completed, most of it was completed. So at that point in time, um, a lot of these little towns kind of dried up. But in the recent years, they have found that um, they, they have things that they can share about Route 66 and a lot of travelers have become involved um, or excited about the idea, I guess, of traveling Route 66, kind of as a bucket list thing. You see, we got a guy with a camera back here taking some pictures. So um, we've got uh, a lot to see along the way. So today we're just gonna drive through town, see the murals and kind of talk a little bit about what you might wanna see when you come out this way. If you ever get this way to to travel Route 66. So I'm gonna turn this around here and this is my beautiful wife, Lori. And so uh, she's the other half of Rick and Lori's Grand Adventure. We have a, Ronnie Lynn's waving. Hi, Ronnie Lynn. And so, <laughs> and, uh, and everyone that's on here, it looks like already got 18 people on here so far. So it's gonna be a fun journey. Um, like I said, this is kind of a little pop-up tour. I just put this on a, maybe an hour and a half ago or so um, on the schedule. So it's good to see this many people interested to see what we're doing. And Marion's waving too. So you got a lot of people out here saying hi, Lori. And um, so, yeah, if you go to Rick and Lori's Grand Adventure.com, we've got a website. And then we're also on Facebook and Instagram. We do um, post things on there about our travels as well. So I started doing Hago about... I guess a couple months ago now after we moved to Portugal in September and now we're um, like I said kind of traveling or vacationing across the tram this guy here is waiting on you to move so he can get some more pictures so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started we're a couple of minutes to start our kind of tour officially but uh, we'll go ahead and um, we got some folks that are trying to take some pictures of some of these things so you can swing around that way. I can get, I see. Okay. So I'm going to, yeah, if you'll drop the window down, I'll push this over here a little bit and we'll see. Um, one of these, it says it's closed, but they have a lot of memorabilia out there. It looks like 
for um, Route 66, the old signs, old appliances, washing machines and stuff. And there's an old truck out front that we got a picture of earlier that is painted up to look like Mater off of the, um, the movie Cars. And so look at this motel here. It's a nice little motel. And so right on Route 66, some of the authentic kind of structures here. I'll kind of come back around here and we got, it's called the Tucum Carry Trading Post where we're at right now. And we got about a minute and a half, Lori, before we actually get started. So that way we can let everybody kind of journey and get in here um, that wants to be in the on the tour so yeah we got australia and uh jane from australia and karen from virginia on here as well so we're actually looking out the front window here was showing interstate 40 is uh the sign you can see there but this is actually old route 66 that we're on right now getting ready to to pull onto some yep so we got all kinds of signs here and things. Um, we got uh, this little trading post motel. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So here's something new is a wind generator. They got a lot of these around all along Route 66, actually, in different places. So I'm taking advantage of the new way to, um, yeah, it is a beautiful sky today. How hot is it? It is actually 45 degrees here. So not hot at all. And it's, it's a very nice day. It's beautiful, beautiful clouds and scenery and so forth. So I know Lori is going to, here we come in to Tucum Carry, we're going to slow down so we can get all these places for you guys to take your postcards. And that was one of the signs there at kind of a bookend sign. There's another one at the other end of town, just, just an old wooden Tucum Carry sign. Now here's an iconic sign. This one was built more recently as a tribute to Route 66. And if you'll... Um, I'm going to get a postcard here. We'll just go ahead and stop and see if we can get that for you. And I'm going to try to readjust my gimbal here so you can see. These you might have to, once you get these taken, you might have to um, edit them and straighten them up in your postcard. And be sure and share those postcards with people. So that's, that's kind of fun to do. This sign here, actually, um, you see these red taillights on the end of it. They light up at night. And um, yes, it is the land of enchantment. You're right, Jane. So um, there's a lot of neon signs and things that are come on at night and keep and carry. So we're we're gonna get to see. Um, we won't get to see the signs lit up because of the daytime and the time that we're going through here. But we're gonna get to see some really cool murals and put together for the. Um, uh, just over the years, painted as a landscape um, event. And so it looks like we've got here a little sign here. Let me zoom in here. A little bit of history of the town. If I can get that squared away here. Uh, all right. Yeah, thanks for your patience. This is going to be interesting driving and... Um, trying to catch some of these things, postcards for you guys. But that's just a little bit of history about uh, this historic area and the lady named um, Yetta Cohn was a cattle rancher and businesswoman, matriarch of this area. And so we're gonna go ahead and head on down the road here. So yes, you get to experience and actually drive down old Route 66 with us, US 66. Yep, so we're already two and almost three minutes into the tour. But we're going to go slow so we don't miss anything. 
It's an old motel and an old building here was an old gas station. There's a lot of gas stations around this area. Um, the cars were bigger and used a lot of gas back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, I guess. And um, so that was, um, Tucumcari is the biggest city between Albuquerque and Amarillo. And hi, those that are joined since we've started here, Nooney and Katie and Sarah. All right. Um, appreciate you guys coming. But yeah, you'll see some of these old buildings that were, um, you know, they're kind of dilapidated now because, of course, Route 66 uh, was replaced with uh, interstate highway system. If you've ever seen the movie Cars and Radiator Springs is kind of representative of what happened at that time. Um, some places have reopened or um, some places have just put on some nice um, artwork and things for kind of representing Route 66. So here's a good postcard for you of this building. And I think, um, yeah, and then we're going to drive down one side of Route 66. We're actually heading back east. And then we're going to come back around, and that way you'll be able to see both sides. Yeah. So here's another old, old building. Of, um, looks like that. I can't tell if that was a gas station. Here's an old gas station building. There's a down here. That's you're seeing the sign for Mason Lands Community College. There's a dinosaur museum in Tucumcari. Oh, BM, Midnight in Saudi, and you're with us. All right. Cars is the movie. It brought you here. Cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's there's several towns that are representative of uh, Radiator Springs along Route 66, and Tucumcari is definitely one of them. We've got, uh, at night, of course, the signs are lit up, and there's a lot of uh, neon and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. There's an old motel here. This is called the Traveler's Motor Inn on this side. This is a newer one right here. It's been built since 1970. So Route 66 was, um, if you'll, we'll get up here and get a little picture of this mural. And I'm going to get a little turn around here. So we can get a nice shot of this mural here. And I'm not sure about all of these different um, murals and what they represent. Whoops, sorry. Get this back over here. Doing a little trick with the gimbal here, trying to take off on me. So there's a good postcard shot for you. And, um, yeah, so we got rattlesnakes on here. Looks like they're defending this, I'm going to say, little boy in the middle. And lions are trying to attack. So I'm not sure what that represents, but we'll see some more murals down the way. We're about six and a half minutes in to the tour, so we're going to keep moving. And uh, see the rest of the town, some of the murals, some of the old motels and things on Route 66. So I hope everybody's having a great day and a good new year. We actually got started our new year over in uh, Oklahoma. We were visiting friends and family during Christmas season. Now we're heading back to see more kids and grandkids. Thanks for following, Linda. Um, over around Utah and Oregon before we head back to Portugal in mid-January. So the Tucumcari Rattlers. So their mascot is a rattler. So now the mural makes a little more sense. And we'll pull in here, just slow down a little bit, and we will kind of catch this mural here for a postcard shot. Old Route 66, and it looks like it shows a progression of the railway and to tractors and the horses and things to um, 
more current times, but this would have been what the area looked like prior to the highway coming through and uh, those kinds of things. This is on the side of the Chamber of Commerce Visitor Center here. Hey, thanks for following, Gene. Yeah, and I'm just, uh, like I said, this is kind of an experiment to just do some of these kind of pop-up things as we go along the way. Might only be able to give like a, an hour or two notice. And um, as we go, because we're, we're dependent, our schedule's dependent on weather and those kinds of things. So oops, I might get, hopefully not get you seasick trying to trying to pan around too fast. I don't want to miss anything, but I don't want to want to travel too fast either so that we um, blur your pictures. I know we have to pause just for a second or two. Yes, it is a beautiful day, Catherine. Thanks for joining. Yeah, we got a smoke shop here. And so this old building here has been repurposed. And we've got a little bit um, artwork on that building. You know, we're kind of going back down through town. We got a Lowe's store here, but it's not the Lowe's, not the big uh, hardware lumber store. It's a grocery store. And then you'll see um, another building over here. So it'd be interesting that to see maybe you know, come back through here in a few years and see what other buildings have been repurposed. Here's, an, here's a uh, shot of La Cita Mexican restaurant. Get a little closer view there for your postcards. And um, all right, let me hold that steady there for you. So you can get a shot of that and remember to share the postcards as well. And if you guys will follow me, then you can get the notifications on um, the other tours that we'll be doing as we travel. And there's um, sorry. So a little show you the sign there, Historic Route 66. I'll show you where we're at. And there's this Bubbles Pet Supplies down there. So there we go. A little bit more of the town. So uh, Route 66 was actually started in 1926 by a guy named Cyrus Avery. Hi, Hannah. Good to see you. All right, we're going to get a, store, a sign there and um, a little view of this motel. Sorry, we're kind of trying to navigate this with the traffic behind us and all around us. So slowing down as we can, trying to give you shots, postcard shots, some of these older buildings. Yeah, it is bigger. Uh, it actually is the biggest town between um, Albuquerque and Amarillo. I think I read that on the census, uh, see what the population was here. Uh, well, now uh, the population is uh, only about 5,000, a little over 5,000. Uh, but that's, I'm sure it was much, much higher than that back in the 40s and 50s when um, Route 66 was more more of a regular highway. Uh, interstate traffic went through here a lot more. So, so B, thanks for coming. All right. Let's like, okay. And we're going to try to get a good postcard view of this sign, Hotel Safari. kind of pull through here. So we got a little neat little motel that we can um, show you. It's all decorated and uh, kind of Route 66 memorabilia. Oh, and the, <laughs> the signs here have the Route 66 
emblem uh, shape, but they've got the room numbers, say historic, and then they have these um, now the room numbers on them with the with the Route 66 sign. There's, oh, well, they got some Christmas gifts in the old panel van there, and I took them carry tonight. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's kind of up there. It's a little darker. But um, that was a common phrase as Tucum Carry was an attraction and a place to stay at night. It was like with all the neon lights and those kind of, kind of things at the time. So it was a, a good place to stop for the evening if you were traveling and gas up, eat something, and um, okay. we'll get a picture of this mural, okay, and we're almost halfway into our 30 minutes, we'll probably go a little bit longer because um, we're just trying to go slow and capture as much as we can for you, and you'll see across the way, and we're going to come back once we get to the other end of town, but the Blue Swallow Motel iconic motel of um, Route 66 and if you get on online you'll see um, some cool pictures of it when it's lit up at night with the neon all right pan back around here so you can see where we're going The peak population in 1950 was 80, 8,419 residents. Thanks, Karen. So, okay. And I'm sure many of the folks there were dependent on um, the commerce um, coming through town here. We're going to kind of pull in here a little bit so we can get a good postcard shot of <clears throat> the TP Curios. And this used to be a gas station. Um and then, of course, the pumps are gone now. And I read that it was the only curio shop left on Route 66. And I don't know exactly what they mean by that. Um, curios, it says Indian jewelry, pottery. And um, get the big sign here on the side. And kind of swing around here to get the teepee. And the teepee in the view there. Maybe when we come back across... We can get a broader picture here of this sign uh, or the sign on the front of the building. Kind of. Uh, Chandra, hey, go, Bali guy, T. Good. Thanks for joining. We're traveling up US Route 66 on the historic highway. So it was a big, big part of American culture, and the automobile was so important. Um, it represented freedom and travel, the ability to see more things um, throughout, you know, the United States. So there's an old, kind of the old dilapidated building that was called the Relax Inn. So some of these places um, probably should be torn down, but some of them, um, I mean, if they become a hazard, but I think many of them have been left up just to represent what used to be here in the town. Thanks for joining Robert, Chandra. We've got an uh, old sign here of the Apache Motel. And it's also vacant. And we got um, a sign here for Dell's Restaurant. Park and Eat in Tucumcari. So... And we'll slow down a little bit, try to get a little bit more of the sign for your view, for your postcards. And, uh, got a nice motif on the, on the uh, motel here with the different painted doors and stuff. This is the Elmira Inn. Get your kicks on Route 66. I think that song was originally sung by Nat King Cole back in the 50s so and as we come towards the other end of town 
some more modern buildings as people are still um, living here in uh, as a tractor supply across the way. Uh, there's a little trailer little uh, with a picture here of the RV park that um, once was here. It's an old sign and a motel. Some pretty colors. And I'm going to try to look here in the chat window and see where we're at. Um, if anybody has any questions or, or any comments. Here's a neat old um, motel. And this one actually has some old uh, parts of some airplanes. Uh, and it's called the Historic Route 66 Motel. There's a little airplane fuselage over here. It's been salvaged. And it's pretty, um, pretty plain style of architecture, functional, with places for the cars to park and these small rooms where people were just probably um, just staying overnight. Robert, no, I, we haven't gone through Flagstaff, and we're not sure if we're going to go through Flagstaff because of the route we're choosing um, uh, to try to avoid some weather, some bad weather and stuff And as we go through the mountains. But if we do, I may go ahead and throw that one on a pop-up. We, I think we do plan to go on Moab and then maybe Arches National Park, uh, do a drive-through on that one. So... Lori's pretty excited about that. We've been there once before, and we really enjoyed it. It was raining when we were there, so uh, we might get to go through there and see it in a little bit better weather. So here's another old motel. Now, this one here is abandoned. Uh, to can carry in. Uh, you can see the how it's all grown up here. Again, kind of reminiscent of of what happened to the economies of these small towns uh, route that were along Route 66 when the interstates came through and replaced them in the uh, 60s and 70s. So we're going to go ahead and turn around. We've been from one end of town to the other and it took us about 20 minutes. So uh, we want to get over and show you guys some, some, um, some murals of downtown. There's an old garage. All right, so here we go back into Tucum Carry on the old original highway, and we're gonna pass some iconic buildings. So we're going to make up a little bit of time here as we're going back in, about 21 minutes into the tour. And we're going to try to um, see, we've got the Palomino Motel coming up up here. We might be able to get a good shot of that sign. Arriving west, final destination. <laughs> Actually, we're going to turn off of Route 66 and our final destination is going to be um, leaving Oregon from the Portland Airport and traveling back to Portugal, where we where we live. We moved to Portugal a few months ago, and we're back here traveling for. Um, like I said we have a new grandbaby, and then we also um, we're visiting with um, family and friends and those kinds of things. I'm a little bit limited on some of these shots I can give you as we're driving, but try to get as much as possible in here. All right, and so there's just a, I'm going to say maybe some of those signs weren't original from the 60s, but kind of that style. And then we've got this, the famous Roadrunner Lodge, which is iconic uh, building of Route 66, and it's interesting some of the colors that they used um, on these buildings. 
I think is to attract attention. And maybe if they didn't have a neon sign, I suppose if they used a really bright color, it helped attract attention to um, their, their um, businesses. Catherine asked, why did we move to Portugal? Well, Catherine, that's, um, that's a good question. We actually started thinking about um, traveling full time and doing writing, traveling, taking pictures was our goal when we got married about four and a half years ago. And so we were able to um, move over to Portugal to live cheaper, be able to have a, a anchor for, to explore Europe and okay we want to get a good picture of this sign here for a postcard so we're going to just go ahead and stop right here and get the blue swallow motel in there and it's got an old car there I think that's a 56 Chevy no I'm sorry that's a 54 Chevy yeah um, no, we're not going to stay in Tucum Carry tonight, Joe. We are traveling, and uh, on our schedule, we had um, the option of staying in Albuquerque, but we're trying to make some time so that we can get up to see our family and our kids and grandkids over in Utah and Oregon and um, family and friends there. So then about mid-January we're going to fly back to Portugal and I've been doing tours over there so if you guys like to see tours about um, culture and um, things in Portugal and we'll be going on other places around Europe eventually so we'll be going to um, we've been over to Spain once so we plan on going back there again. If you guys will follow me, you can uh, get notifications on our tours where we're going to be going. And this is our first actual like driving tour where um, not walking or something like that and um, or inside a building or something. So I hope people are enjoying it. And I would like to, you know, for you to give me your feedback through the chat and those, those kind of things. You can get um, on Rick and Lori's grandadventure.com website. Uh, you can contact us at Rick and Lori's grandadventure at gmail.com. And I'll post some links to um, some resources about Tucum Carry. So what I like to do is uh, show the town. And sometimes I get some really great ideas and links from people that join in on the tour so they post those things in the chat and um, I'm glad you guys are liking this I'm getting some thumbs up it's cool that's 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 very helpful and rewarding to see that um, that you guys are getting something out of this tour and you know uh, as we have more time and maybe when we come back through the US we will um, try to try to um, do more tours like this and other traveling tours. The route, love the Route 66 vibe. Yeah, it's something for sure that's uh, unique. So you can see the sign there for the Dinosaur Museum in town here. We're going to kind of cut down through this area and I'll show you. Uh, this is actually by the local community college. Hi, Denise. Thanks for joining and um, get a get a picture of that. Some for some reason my gimbal's wanting to turn sideways, so I'm not sure what I need to do to correct that. But try to hold it more straight at, um, horizontally. There we go. And I just I turned the the gimbal and it, it wants to kind of tilt. I'll probably have to calibrate it. But um, there's some other little buildings, little. And there is actually a museum here in Tucumcari. We have not visited it, um, but I think it'd be interesting sometime when we have a little bit more time to do that. So we're going to show you some of these murals on some walls here in town. And we're about 27 minutes in, so um, this is 
driving's going a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I know we want to stop and slow down long enough for you guys to get some good postcard shots. I'm going to have trouble with that one. I can't get far enough away. I can tell my... So this is an old building here, and I would be real interested to find out the history of that building. So there's a little bell tower on it. Might have been a municipal building at something. Hi, Sue and Kirsty. Memphis, Stefan's here. All right. Some of you guys were in on some of my earlier tours, Route 66. So this is kind of an old residential part of town. So we're going to go down here. There's a train depot down here. There's a couple of, uh, there's an old Southern Pacific Railroad box car. And this is uh, where the museum is. So they do have some artifacts outside the museum. And we can see here that um, so they're open Tuesday through Saturday. Hey, Virginia, thanks for coming. Yep. So we're going to extend our tour a little bit because there's still some interesting things to see. And um, we're going to see some more murals when we get downtown here in Tucumcari. So those of you that are joining, um, we're just traveling across the country west east from Oklahoma over into, um, we're going to go up to Utah and Oregon to visit friends and family. But Tucumcari is a, a neat little town. Some, <laughs> when we can't go, oh, Virginia enjoyed Cadillac Ranch this morning. Thank you, Virginia. Yeah, it was nice of you to say. I'm going to go ahead and do a little zoom on that one. And again, my gimbal's kind of tilting things, so you might have to edit that in your postcards when you get these postcard shots um, downloaded. Lori's uh, being very patient with the traffic and doing a great job of navigating the roads and trying to get us into some, see some things here and some murals and so forth. So I'm going to pull back around here, pan around, and there's a mural. If you'll see it over here on the left, uh, it's on the side of the building there, and it looks like um, an artist that's painting the building in a shadow and everything from a top view. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can zoom in on that a little bit more. My um, The app is kind of up. The name of the museum, please, it is the Tucumcari Historical Museum. I believe it's that, that was what I saw on the sign over there. Yeah. So thank you. I will, Jill, I will put some links. Um, I'll post in the Hago app some links to the resources here for more information about Tucumcari. Um, and I'll, I'll put something on there about the museum. And maybe if they have a website, I'll link to it. And then also um, the, uh, some of the other things here in town. I know we're maybe traveling a little bit fast for some of these. Sorry, just had to swing that around. Um, because we're trying to stay out of the traffic. This is going to be welcome to Tucumcari, New Mexico. It's a little behind the tree there, so we get most of it in the view. And... Um, now we're coming down to the train depot. This is going to be, um, and you can see a train back behind there. I'm not sure. I was going to study, and I'll, I'll put a little bit more info on the post about the train depot as, as well, because I'm not for sure if there's actually a passenger train that can be boarded here. So Lori and I have become dependent on mass transit over in Portugal, and the train system there, public transportation system, trains and buses and so forth. And get stop and get a little photo here of, um, let me back out here on my 
on my view so you can get the whole thing in the window there and uh, that logo on the side of the building for Union Pacific you can see some Union Pacific box cars back here so this is an operating train depot and um, there's historical um, I'd like to go inside that sometime whenever we could. And I think Laurie's going to back up. I think there's a little bit more of a view here around the corner. Okay. And I'm going to need to go vertical on this. So if you'll bear with me for a minute here, I'll do that. And you can get the postcard shot for that um, into the building so that you can carry train depot. All right. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for coming. How are you? Um, are you tenting this car, Catherine R? I'm not sure what that means. JV joined. Um, how many times you've been here? Um, you know, probably several. Maybe maybe three times before we've driven through Tucumcari over the years. Um, we we usually just drive through as we're passing through. Um, we have family on uh, in Oklahoma and family in the western side of the U.S. over around um, uh, Oregon, and we have some family in California, so. Renting the car. No, actually, um, this is a car we own. It's a 2020 Ford Explorer, and it's been a good car for us to travel in. We left it at my brother's house in Oklahoma when we moved to Portugal. And so when we came back into town um, to see everybody, we decided to go ahead and pick it up. And, um, and I'll give you a little shot of the Veterans Memorial over here, Veterans Park in Tucumcari. And um, so, yeah, so, so we're traveling. We're using it to travel. And we're going to leave it with our son out in Oregon. And we head back to Portugal. And what states did we live in before Portugal? Well, um, I've lived in Oklahoma and California and Oregon. And Lori's lived in Oregon. Oklahoma, California, and Oregon. And, at different, and Washington, yeah. We, so when we got married four years ago, we moved to... From Oklahoma to Oregon and then into Washington over in the Columbia River Basin and the Columbia River Gorge area. And that was that was really nice. We loved it there. We lived there for about a year. Had a, a business doing a newspaper and some photography. COVID came along and killed those businesses. So we moved over to northeastern Oregon uh, near Pendleton, if anybody's heard of that. And... Um, we uh, we lived there before we moved to Portugal. How do we meet? Well, we met through um, uh, a long time ago, and uh, we just kind of kept in touch over the years. Life kind of takes you in different directions, and then uh, we were able to to get back together. Like uh, like I said, we we got married in September 9th, twenty eighteen, in Banff, Canada. Yeah, yeah, newspaper and photography, that was nice, Ronnie Lynn. Um, we loved it there. Um, we were in North Bonneville, Washington. It's a little, small little town about, it was only about 35, 45 minutes to the airport, so it was real convenient. Um, we could get to Vancouver or Portland in about that same amount of time. Um, and so, yeah, and... Um, lot of a lot of natural beauty in that area of the country so we used to go to the look at waterfalls and go hiking a lot there Multnomah Falls was only about I don't know maybe a 20 minute drive from where we lived had to get across the highway so are we about okay Lori's saying there's a mural over here that I'm that she wants to see 
and I'm gonna, okay, here we go. I gotta pan around. She's pulling across the street here. Yeah. Yeah, I do see um, Patrick Toomey on there, Karen, and I do follow follow him. I like to watch his tours as well. Um, let me try to, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting as much of this mural in the frame as I can for your postcards. I'll try to get it lined up for you, I think. Uh, there we go. The gimbal's giving me a little bit of a struggle here. Yeah. So hopefully you can get a shot of that. Um, that nice big mural here in Tucumcari. So I think um, we're probably about out of time here. We've gone a little bit past our 30 minutes that we scheduled and we're gonna have to get back on the road. And oh, you went skiing with Patrick this morning. Very cool. Ronnie Lynn's sister lives in New Mexico. What, what town, Ronnie Lynn? So I'll pull back around here. And uh, so Anna from Sydney says, thank you. And I'll pull around so we can see Chimeo. Okay, I'm not sure where that is. I'll have to look that up on the map. I enjoyed your story more than the tour, frankly. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi. Thank you. I know we tried to do this um, on the fly. And so driving and trying to maneuver the gimbal and get postcard shots, I, I hope you guys were able to get something from that. And um, we, we appreciate you guys tuning in. So yeah, follow, you know, uh, post a review, those kinds of things as you can. And um, we appreciate all your support. And um, just go to Rick and Lori's Grand Adventure dot com or uh, see us on Facebook and you can follow our travels there as well as we post things along the way. And eventually you'll get all these videos on YouTube. Yeah, Virginia, and that's what Virginia just said. Maybe we can do a recap tour uh, when we get home. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So we'll get that posted up on our channel and you can kind of go through that. All right. Well, thanks guys. We awesome. appreciate it. And, um, we'll keep going and, and just kind of stay tuned on the channel. Um, like I said, if you follow, you can get notifications, but just oh, kind of tune in and, and see, um, where we're going to be next and we'll keep you posted. All right. Good, you know, goodbye everybody. God bless and happy new year. Bye everyone.